The Easy Corral Portable Fence System by Zariba. When your horses are on the go, take your safe and secure Easy Corral with you. Setup is easy. The Easy Corral works best in square or rectangular configurations and will cover area up to 900 square feet. The area should be flat and unobstructed by trees and brush. In your kit you will find corner posts, end caps, ground anchors, post anchor stakes, tie-down stakes, tie-down cords, step-in posts, fence controller, four D-cell batteries, red connector cable, black connector cable, bipolar polytape reels, fence controller polytape reel, electrical fence warning flags, and a duffel bag. The control post should be set for quick and easy access. It's powered by four D-cell batteries provided. Load the batteries per the guides. The unit will later slip into the corner post. Using your foot or a rubber mallet in drier conditions, firmly set one of the four ground anchors. Insert a corner post onto the anchor until the anchor release button pops out of the post like this. Next, locate the fence controller reel. It is easily identified by the LED light on top and the electrical connections on the side. Slip the fence control reel onto one of the corner posts. The reel will face inward toward the inside of your corral. Tighten the thumb screw so the reel is at the top of your post. Finally, use two of the corner tie-down stakes and poly tie-down ropes to help secure the post anchors, especially in dry loose conditions. Thread the poly rope through one of the stakes and tie it off. Next, set the stake into the ground two to three feet from the corner post. Now feed the rope through the hole on the reel. Thread the rope through the second stake and set that stake two to three feet away from the post. Level the post by taking up the slack, located just below the thumb screw. Each reel contains 30 feet of specially designed bipolar poly tape, so set your remaining corner posts no more than 30 feet apart in a square or rectangular configuration. Place the end caps in each of the three remaining corner posts. Now place one of the poly tape reels on the ground. Insert the corner post into the poly tape reel and slide the poly tape reel to the top of your post. Then attach the post to the anchor until the anchor release button pops out of the post. Tighten the poly tape reel to the post with the thumb screw. Finally, use two of the corner tie-down stakes and poly tie-down ropes to help temporarily secure the post anchors. Repeat this process for the remaining two corner posts. Starting from the outside of the corral, release the latch on the poly tape reel and take the reel connector and pull it to the next post to your right. Next, snap the reel connector to the wire form on the next reel and turn the cam lock to secure it in place. The fence line should be loose at this point. Repeat this process for the remaining three sides of the corral. Set four step-in posts. Remove the protective cap from the step-in post and save for later packing. Assemble the step-in posts by connecting the two halves and inserting the lock-in pin. Support your fence by placing one step-in post midway between each corner post. Measure or gauge the halfway point between corner posts and simply step the post into the soil. Place the poly tape in the top holder and snap it shut. Repeat this process for the remaining three spans of your corral. Now tighten the fence line. Starting at any corner, grasp the reel in one hand and with the other hand, remove the slack by turning the reel. Do not over tighten. Continue with the remaining reels. When the poly tape appears taut, push the reel latch to secure. At this time, you may need to adjust the tie down cords to keep the post straight. You may also tighten or loosen the reels as necessary to keep the post straight. Slide the fence control unit into the fence control post batteries down. You'll want the electrical connections of the control unit positioned facing the electrical connections on the reel. Verify the fence control toggle switch is in the off or left position. The fence controller has one black and one red connector jack. The fence controller reel has a corresponding red and black connector jack. Simply connect red to red and black to black using the red and black connector cables. Attach the four fence warning signs to each of the step-in posts. Turn on the fence controller by moving the toggle to the on or right position. The LED blinks green for normal operation and blinks red when the batteries get low. Your Easy Corral is now ready for operation. Before entering or exiting the corral, 
Shut the fence controller off to avoid electrical shock. To open, simply unlatch the reel connector. Place the poly tape out of the way of the entering or exiting horses. Now replace the reel connector and switch the unit on by switching the toggle to the on or right position. The best way to train your horse is to first install the corral inside an existing perimeter fence. Lead your horse around the inside of the easy corral. If your horse is unfamiliar with electric fencing, expose it once to the electric shock. Turn the fence controller to the off or left position. Disconnect the reel connector from the fence controller. Next, remove the poly tape from the step in posts. Wipe the poly tape with a clean, damp cloth before reeling it up. Reel up the poly tape. Remove the step in posts. And replace the rubber safety caps for storage. Remove stakes and cords. Remove the corner posts. Remove the anchors from the posts. All of the items will neatly fit inside the provided duffel bag. The Zariba Easy Corral Portable Fence System by Zariba. For more information, see zaribasystems.com.